Hi everyone, uh, we are from Group 1, Carbon Spatial Estimation in Sirih Park, Iskandar Putri. Uh, before we start, let I introduce our group member. My name is Ahmad Farid and the other five member is Lee Minto, uh, No Fitra, No Rina Fisa, No Rusa Birina and Shadida Raila. Okay, our first information is the carbon spatial estimation of Sirip Park is a vital study that explores the ecosystem role in biodiversity. Utilizing satellite remote sensing, the research analyze carbon, creation dynamic, integrate GPS, terrain modeling, and land cover classification. The finding of a crucial insight for global environment management, particularly in climate change mitigation in biodiversity composition. Okay, this is our study area. Our, st our study area is focused in Zone 1 in Siri Park, uh, known as a tropical floral park covered in 109 acres. Okay, our first objective is a tech to carry out GPS control point for high and spectral radiometer. And the second one is to extract the digital surface model and digital terrain model over Siri Park using satellite remote sensing. Uh, we are bros from uh, Copernicus. Okay, the third one is to classify a uh, six year uh, from 2018 to 2023 uh, the land use land cover at Sirip Park. Okay, the fourth one is to extract the six year of carbon spatial at Sirip Park using Sentinel-2 satellite data. Okay, uh, our, our last uh, objective is to produce a database for the carbon spatial in Sirip Park. That's uh, I'm passed to other my group member. Now I will continue this presentation with methodology. We have a three phase, phase one, phase two, and phase three. Phase one, we have a data acquisition. Phase two, we have a processing. And phase, phase three, we have analysis. In, in data acquisition, we have uh, two data, which is uh, primary data and secondary data. For primary data, we have uh, Sentinel-2 level 2B. For secondary data, we have a map boundary and also field work. In primary data for Sentinel 2B, we use open source, open source which is a copernicus source. We download down the system for image and coverage cloud is a below 20% and use 20 meter resolution for the Sentinel data. And for data acquisition field work, we collect data, ground control point, spot height, and also a spectral radiometer. And for processing, for Sentinels to be, we generate digital terrain model, digital surface model, land use land cover map, vegetation in the surf from NDBI, NDWI, and also Mesa V. And for carbon sequestration, we get six year trends. And for processing, secondary data is a classification map and also unsupervised map. For field work, we measure the data. Uh, use the formula NPP equal APAR times LUE. APAR for absorb photosynthetically active radiation and also LUE is a light use efficiency. From this, from the last analysis, for the last phase, we get the analysis from this data and we get value of the night primary productivity, which is an NPP and also CEA trends. NDVI, NDWI, Mesa V to effect the carbon absorption. Net primary productivity MPP serve as a critical measure in assessing the productivity of in an ecosystem. MPP derived by the formula developers uh, by researchers which are Dr. Wahid in 2015 and Montin in 1972. The formula MPP equal to APR times LUE is the formula that measures the carbon from the plant. If the value MPP is high, meaning by the carbon, it, the value of the carbon is high. So as we can see the, from the result, from 2018 to 2019 is decreased, which our value is negative 1, so the status is source. And from 2019 to 2020 is increased from uh, value to 3.9, and the status sinks. 
and 2022 and 2021 is decreased to negative 2.9 the stator is source and lastly the uh, the year 2021 to 2022 is decreased to negative 2 so the stator is source the next data processing is vegetation indices, including NDVI, NDVUI, and MSAVI. The NDVI was developed to estimate the vegetation health and density. The NDVUI was focused on water content in, ve in vegetation. The MSAVI is for monitoring vegetation in diverse environments. So this is our output for the spectral indices in June 1, so they part 2023. We include optimum and uh, optimal photosynthesis and minimum photosynthesis. And this is our vegetation indices trend in zone 1 city park from 2018 to 2022. The average percentage for NDVI is fall between 33% to 42%, which is uh, the healthy vegetation range and it is typical for the urban park space. However, the value for the NDVI and the MSAV was quite low for the healthy vegetation in urban space. And this is the vegetation indices trend in zone 1 city park for the minimum photosynthesis. We can see here during 2022, there is sudden drop for the NDVI and the MSAV value. However, there is slightly increase in the ND, NDWI value. We can see the we can see here, and this is our vegetation indices trend in zone 1 city park for the minimum photosynthesis. We can see during 2022, there are sudden drop for the NDVI and MSAV value and slightly increase for the NDWI value. It may happen with the log soil in 2022, which is can give negative impact to the root health and overall plant function. The data collection may happen during high rainy season and to be highlighted that NDVI is sensitive to several factors including the land, sur the land surface temperature, soil moisture and also the precipitation. I will represent about land use and land cover. We make the LUSC map uh, to identify what type of land cover has represented in, in that area. So first we did the classification and we have identified several uh, areas where we have dense vegetation, sparse vegetation, uh, sharp grassland, build up and barren land. So from the map, map of land use and land cover map of 2018 to 2023, uh, the most obvious changes has happened to the barren land and to the dense vegetation. To prove the observation, we have produced map of 6 years uh, land use land cover trend of Zone 1 Siri Park. From the graph, we have uh, identified that dense vegetation uh, has increased consistently and barren land also has decreased consistently due to the forestation at Zone 1. While uh, sparse vegetation, sharp grassland, and build, uh, and build up has a varying and fluctuation uh, of maps. Next, I will explain about digital surface model and digital terrain model. And as we can see, uh, the digital surface model get the highest elevation is 118 in 2022. While the digital terrain model, uh, the highest value is 118, which is in 2018. Next. This is the species plan that we can identify uh, in zone 1 in Sierra Park. Uh, by using the spectral radiometer, we can get the species of the plant and also the coordinate location. The example of species plant that we can get in Sierra Park is a uh, detergentic plant. In conclusion, our method considers both high and low values in net primary productivity and PP calculation provided a comprehensive assessment of vegetation condition. Our study in Syrian Park understands the importance of the understanding fluctuation in carbon sequestration rates of effective climate change mitigation. For the further information, do, uh, you can visit our story map by scanning this QR code. Thank you.